In this video, we will explore the utilities related to grid template columns in Tailwind CSS. These utilities help you define the number of columns in your grid layout, giving you control over how your content is arranged across columns. The grid utility we need to create columns is grid calls. This utility is used to specify the number of columns in your grid. Tailwind CSS offers up to 12 columns, allowing for a highly customizable grid layout. This utility is perfect for creating uniform grids such as image galleries, product listings or any section where items need to be neatly arranged. Let's create a grid layout now. Here inside the body I have a parent element which has four child elements. Let me collapse the child elements. The styling here is just to show you in the demo. All the changes we need to make in order to make this container a grid layout is here. So just like Flexbox, in order to make a container a grid layout, we need to add the class grid first. Once we add the grid, then we have access to all the grid related utilities. For example, gap is a grid related utility. So if I add gap, nothing changes because it doesn't detect flex or grid. Now if I add grid and save it, then you can see on the left side there is some gap among the elements so that's how we make a container grid layout now in order to specify the number of columns we use grid calls as i said tailwind offers up to 12 columns by default so i'll select two in this case and save it and you can see on the left side automatically it arranged the four elements in two columns which made two lines and in each line we have two columns now let me make this three now for each line we have three columns since we have only four elements this area is empty but here also it is three columns if i add two more elements let me add one element first and save it and add one more now all the six elements are arranged neatly in this grid layout it's that simple that's all we need to know about the grid calls utility in the next video we will explore the utilities related to the placement and sizing of the grid columns see you there